How you guys doing? This is Ibridge Steel and welcome back to my garage where, if you watched my live stream I did the other week, oh uh, yeah, yeah it was a week ago, jeebus. So I put the engine back together, we've put everything underneath back together and we started putting the bodywork back together. And the reason for it is just because we're getting to that point of this car being almost finished. So that's looking good. All we got to do is put the jigsaw back together, which is all these parts. Now, thankfully, not too difficult to follow along with. So it shouldn't be too hard. It shouldn't be too hard. Now I've got to sit here and go, which bit goes where and what do I want? Right, I think what we need to do is that's the front bumper, that's the rear bumper. Let's uh. Let's chuck this on, shall we? Oh, that might help if I put it on. Pick it up. Well done. And there. Alright, what am I missing then? Because that should just... Huh. It came off of this car. I'll do that in a minute then. Right, next... This rocker panel actually looking all right. I mean, it needs a little bit of a wash, so give it a second. That's all good. Stick that on there. No, on there. Well done. Yep, excellent. What, what side are you? Left panel. Let, just pick it up. This game should not be this difficult. Right, left. Where's my welder? Need my welder. There's my welder. Oh, for flipping heck. Tell you what, right? The one thing that annoys me about this is it gives you like a, it's like a time limit on. You've got to put it back on the car before the time runs out, or everything's going to fall apart. It's like, okay, cool. Is that on there? Maybe. I I don't actually know now. All right, cool. Next. I think that side's wrong because this doesn't look like it's attached. It looks like it's broken. So give me a second. Whereas what we're going to do is I'm going to have to cut it off and start it again. Alright, so this won't fall off now. At least I've got two welds on. Tell you what, this game is like awkward. I, I like it and all, but it is, it is a little bit awkward. What are you doing today? Well, I'm going to eventually try and fix a car. Oh yeah, what with hopes and dreams a lot of the time. And these are tiny. Right, I need that. And we need to put this in here, in the welder. So I need to take the welder off, stick it on the floor, pick that up, stick it on there. There we go. And now I've got a welder. And then, fiddle about with the... Oh God, I'm too far away. I think that's all of that one side. Yay me. Yep, that's a cow, all right. Alright, now we got to pop this down, and then we got to do the same to this side. Right, next we need to get our grinder, take the disc out, put the buffering pad back in, and then grind away. Now don't worry, I will be painting this car afterwards, I'm just getting rid of all of this crap to start with. There we go. So this goes on here. I put this on here, we take this over here, I take this off of here, and then we go a little bit crazy. There we go, so now it's not going to fall off. Now I can't get to the welds underneath, so we have to raise the car again, like that one there. Hey, it's all done. Right, next. Why aren't you going on there then? I don't know. Right, oh, no. Maybe. Dunno, I'll figure that out as I go. Right, next, middle panel. I don't know where this goes. Uh, oh, okay, I think it might go there. Right, let's drop this down. I think it sits behind the, the, the rear seats. I think. I mean, it might do. Do you go there? You do! Oh, fantastic. Another home for the homeless. Right. Have I run out of weld already? Oh my god. This stuff just doesn't last very long. Pop this up here for now because I don't want to keep running around with it. Okay, it's on the floor. There it is. Right. 
So pick this up, pop this down, pick up that, stick it on there, and then we're good. Oh, it's bent out of shape, that is. All right, quickly before I do this, where's my hammer? Hammer, hammer. It's got to be right with hammer, right? Old iron, old iron. Apparently, it needed hitting. All right, well, I'm going to say that that's okay. I mean, it might not be 100%, but, I mean, it looks off. It really does, and I'm not really... <laughs> oh no let's just put it this way I hope it's better than um, yeah what I have in my head alright cool where is the boot lid or as you guys call it the trunk that trunk looks uh, it looks fairly broken which is not good <laughs> it's a little bit bent alright let me go and find my hammer. I mean, if we can't knock it into shape, we just have to buy a new boot lid. It's fine. I don't think we can deal with it. I think it's going in the bin. Oh dear, what a shame. Whatever shall I do? This is why, when you're restoring a car in this game, it's sometimes best just to buy all new body parts and just be like, screw it, I don't want to deal with this crap anymore. Oh, I did buy a new one. That's interesting. Well, I mean, worst comes to worst is I'll use it, but I don't know, that might not even... Is it for this car? Maybe? i got to be honest, I don't really know anymore. Right, okay, we need a boot lid. Or trunk. See, trunk door, apparently. You, it, this is seen as a door and not a lid. Right, stick that on there. Where's my drive? Where's my screwdriver? Oh no, spanner, spanner, spanner. There you are. There you are. Ow. No, that uh, hurt. Ow, 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 ow. Stick it on there. Oh yeah. And there we go. That's looking actually pretty damn good. I like it. I like it a lot. Alright, cool. I don't think I need my hammer for very... Actually, I'm saying that, I'm going to have to do the front panels as well and the doors. Oh god. Oh, what a shame. I'm not sure about this. I really am not. It says it goes there, but it's not sticking to anything. It really doesn't want to go on there. Is it because it's bent out of shape, maybe? I don't... Well... It does look a little bit wonky. We'll buy a new one and see what it does. What's the worst that's going to happen? It's going to keep falling off. Oh, we could actually go... Oh, hello. We could go full... We could go convertible. I might go convertible. Maybe. Well, that one's straight. So, for some reason, the old one wasn't going to clip on, but this one does. So, I need to find my... Oh, where do I keep putting my span? There it is. All right, cool. There we go. Bumper's on. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. That's a good one. Alright, cool, so that's back end done. All the bulbs are in, everything's done. Next, we're going to be doing... Uh, let's do quarter panels. Yummy! Right, first off, stick this over here. Stick it on the floor. Get me buffer. and add... Alright, cool, I don't have to do a lot, it all just fell off. Isn't that nice? Stick that up there, and take this over here. And wash. Even though, yes, I know, it's a different colour for now. It doesn't matter. I will be painting this car. I haven't really decided on a colour yet, but you know, I don't really want to. I don't want to keep painting everything black or yellow. I might have to do like and I actually choose a different colour for once in my life. So that'd be fun. I might go with like baby blue, maybe. Make it like a nice pastel. Get me a spanner, because no, I keep putting this down, and I keep forgetting where it is. Let's chalk, uh, do the same thing. Stick. Oh, actually, you know what? I'm going to put it up here. Worst comes to worst is it gets rid of it. Yeah, there you go. It's done it again. Just disappears the rush straight away. It's fine. Oh, there's a little bit on the bottom of this. Unless that's Bondo, and I'm going to have to repair it. Well, we'll see. 
Nope, just a hole. There wasn't even a hole. There you go. Funky. Right, next we need to put this on here. We need to stick it to the car. And hope that that's straight, but I don't think it is. It looks like it's a little bit skew with. So, we're just going to slap it around a bit. I hope it... I don't know. It looks straight, but it doesn't at the same time. I think it's just because I'm used to seeing everything all bent out of shape. It could just be like the light, you know? Interesting. Right, we'll grab my hose. Give it a wash. Oh, I just saw a bit of rust. Now that's clean. What about the other side? Other side is clean. Right, next. Um, I want to say doors. Like, I know doors are a pain. And they're a bit grubby. And they might be a bit bent out of shape. I mean, it's the door cards are in good nick. Excellent. There we go. One spiffy, awesome door. Next, we need to use the other door. Now, the other door, I don't know. It didn't look too bad when I took it off, but, you know, looks can be deceiving. And the glass is intact, which is nice. The door itself doesn't look like it's bent out of shape, and the door card looks clean as well. And there we go. Just have to uh, screw it all back in now. As said, oh, no, I don't need my hammer for this. I need this for this. Yeah, we do. All right, cool. Stick that there. Jump in car. Okay, I, no, no. Am I in the car? I think I'm. Yeah, I'm actually in the car. Not a good place to be. Eh. Right. And there we go. All right, excellent. So, because this is a classic roofed car, I'm not going to use the roof, and I don't want to use the roof. The reason why is because I feel that sometimes it's always best to, I don't know, try something different. So I'm going to get rid of the roof and we're going to buy a convertible. And the reason why is just because I can more than anything. It's like I'm going to I'm converting it out. We're making it look stylish and sleek and a little bit more sophisticated. All right, that can pop on there then. Fantastic. Where's my welder? You come with me. You stay there. You come with me. Right. Where's the welds for this thing? Oh, there they are. They're inside the bodywork. Oh, it's awkward. So, there it is. Oh my god, that is tight. Excellent. Alright, that's the, um... Yeah. That's in there. Proper. Alright, that can sit up there then. So all we need to do is... I think we've got a good pane of glass somewhere. I think that's front... Yeah, the front just needs to wash. I think this should be good enough. We won't need the rear glass because we haven't got a rear window anymore. So that's fine. That's going to get. That's going to save us some money because we're not putting a rear window back in because it's a convertible. Oh, oh, it works out all good in the hood. It does. Right, stick that on there. Pucker. That looks all right. That. And it does still look like it's been smashed around a bit. Right, I think I need a new set of wipers, but I want to put the hood in first. That can go in the bin, because we don't need a rear window anymore. That's fine. Right, hood. Are you in good, Nick? I mean, did you get smashed up a bit? Let's just lay it down for a second. Oh, it looks fairly straight. I mean, we can just try it and see what happens. If it looks skew with when we put it down, then we'll take it off. Perfect. Well, I don't know, actually, because you know, you never see the top of the engine poking through the top without, like, it being full-on. Very strange that it's sitting that high. I don't know, maybe that's just a graphical issue, maybe. See how things go. But that looks all right. That looks proper stylish. Nice. All right, I think, trim-wise, most of this is bent out of shape. Unfortunately, when I rolled the car a couple of times with my truck on it, or well, sorry, when I rolled the truck with this on it a couple of times, it knocked quite a lot of it out of balance, which means most of it is crap. That's my fault. 
I still don't know how I drive the truck properly with another car attached to the back of it, but you know, learning curve and all that fun. It's all awesome. All right. That I believe is the rear bumper. So that ain't going on the front. Or well, maybe, I don't know. No, it won't. So why the, right. We need a front bumper, I think, because this one's pooped. And we've got a, well, we've got a bumper here. We need the grill section. You know, the bit that goes underneath this. Right, let's go and find that quickly. I may be barking up the wrong tree on this one, but does it actually have a, a front bumper section? I don't think it does. I mean, if I put this on, that can't be right, can it? It looks like it's missing something out the front. And genuinely, I feel like it is missing something. Has it got a valance in the front? Trim, 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 trim. Front. Valance R, there we are. It's a Valance F, not a valance, not a f not a bumper section. I call it a bumper section, turns out it's not. Right, take welder, get welder. Oh no, not welder. Get spanner, get under car. And there we go, all right, funky. So that's everything. This can go in the bin. Apart from trim, obviously. So I've cleared all my parts. That's good. Now I need all the trim sections. So anything with the word trim on it, I'm buying. So we need uh, Do I want trim FL2? No, I'm gonna keep this like silvery. So trim L R L2 R R2 Trim F Trim F L I know, it's front left, front right. I'm just, yep, don't worry, it's just me. All right, cool, we got lots and lots of bits of funny metal. I don't know which one I just picked up. So it's one of these, uh, front right. This one, ah, 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 there we go, see? Trim's really easy to put on because in order just to take it off, you obviously need the prior tool but when you put it on, it just sticks to the car. It's like stickle bricks for kids. Oh no. Oh, go on car, well done. There we are, there we are, it's all good. And by the way, if you are enjoying this video, if you are, I don't know if you are, if you're not, then let me know in the comment section, but if you are enjoying this, hit the like, subscribe, and notification button below for all other updates. Maybe today I've earned your subscription, that's pretty cool. If I haven't, let me know where I went wrong. Things can be fixed. It's all good. Right. Um, do you go on? I think you go on the front, don't you? Do you go on the, oh, what are you? Trim F. Oh, that definitely goes on the front. I think, yeah, this has already got front. Oh. I've already bought that one. What are you? Trim R or rear. And the reason why I need that one is because the back end is new yeah trim rl2 yeah there you go Ta -da. and then that one excellent excellent dolls like you and me do we do right for and then we're going to sell the paint because i've got this color stacked up on the things i've already done i can recycle all of these crappy tins and if I need to reference any color, like for the truck or for my car, my pizza car, then the color's up there, which is all good. All right, cool. So next thing's, uh, let me just push this out of here. Right, that's all good. Thing I need to focus on now then is um, color. Now I don't know what color I should paint this. I mean, it's you know, it's a California sort of inspired car, which is nice. Um, color though, I don't know. I'm sort of, I don't really know what color I want it to be. I'm not going to go like horrible monster green, that's disgusting. I don't like that color at all. Um, hmm. How's about that one? We buy enough, let's put that away. Let's buy a few more. Because you never know. I do like this color. That is a really, really nice blue. That's pretty cool, actually. I like it. What I might do 
is I might buy a slightly darker one and just almost do a two-tone but the bottom section of the car be that color we'll have to see it's not gonna be a lot different but just a little bit of a difference just to give it a bit more I don't know a little bit more of a 3d depth if that makes sense I don't know if it does to anyone else until we see the results but yeah it, it should be alright should being the big word oh it should This is why I bought loads and loads and loads of these cans. Because you can do so much, but then when you start getting into, like, little details, like, you know, having to go over this one tiny bit a couple of times, you might realise that you've run out of paint too quick, and it's like, oh, no. So, yeah, I buy, I buy quite a lot of paint just to paint the car. And then if I don't need it all, it can be sold. I always keep one can just in case I have to do a body job or... I like the colour, so I'll keep the can, and then I've got something to reference. I think that that panel shouldn't have been that bad. Oh no, I think I know what that is. Now I had this problem. I had this problem with an old car, and someone said, "Oh, it's a bondle thing." It's like I haven't actually used bondle before to do a hole. Well, apparently, I may have. Basically, body filler. This one might be empty. If that's what this is, then that's fair enough. No, it's definitely not that. We don't know what it is then. Right, well, I mean, let's see if I can hit it with hammer. No, nope, it might be the bodywork itself then. Don't know. I'm not too worried. I mean, the car is being sold after all. Right. Back to painting. If you are seeing something wrong with the car, though, let me know. Because, obviously, if I've screwed up a little bit, it's always good to hear. It just gives me something else to look out for next time. Because that happens. <sighs> Another can budge the dust. Oh, bum, bum, bum. So the reason why I know the car works is, if you watch my live stream, we started this car up uh, during the stream. So after I made the engine, like after we refit the engine and all the other stuff we did, um, we went over to the like the gas station or fuel station, depending on where you come from. And what we did is we filled it all up, put the oil in it, put the coolant in it, and then we started it up on the forecourt, and then it worked. And then I turned it off and never to turn it on again, basically, because I got it back here. And then there was a problem, and it was that done, and then that was finished, and then we were done. And then all I needed to do was literally just fix this up and then we're good. I do like this colour. This is a really nice colour for this car. Alexo Spark Clay. Alright. I think. I'm just gonna waste this car a little this can now. There's not a lot left in it. Just go over a few little areas. It'll be fine. I feel like it could be the firewall and I don't want to replace that right so what I'm gonna do quick is I'm gonna take the I'm gonna take the bonnet off put another one on worst case scenario is it's this all along right let me just go and get another hood Worst comes to worst, it's broken. Um, ah, that is where I put it. All good. Tighten this on. You know what? I'm going to take the hit on this and just be like, I don't care. Oh, that's annoying. Straighten up the whole car apart from one little thing, and that one little thing makes the whole car look off. Well, at least I learnt my lesson for next time. Next time, don't trust anything. Unless I can hammer something out to make it look better. Which I, ge I genuinely can't. Yeah, it's the firewall, see? If you can see through the gap in the car between the body panels, then this is off centre, which means this would have needed replacing. Well, 
and I'm gonna say this again we live and learn and the worst comes to worst is that next time I do this because there will be a next time I guarantee it will be on a live stream as well we'll do it properly next time We'll make sure that everything is just straight. If you can see through a body panel, it's generally not straight. So that's that's my fault. I'm not gonna take the whole car apart just to take one thing off though, because that sucks. If you've ever if you've done this game already before, you know how hard that's gonna be. So I'm not really worried. I know it makes me sound a little bit bad that you know, we're gonna be selling this with a problem. But you know what? Sometimes things happen. This is one of them. I oh, mean, I should have checked that before though. That's that's bad on my part. It really is. Two four, two four B. Oh yeah, two four B. But it is worth sixteen grand. So that's not a hundred percent bad. I mean, considering this car cost me two grand to get, we've probably put I don't know five six into it so it's not too much but yeah it's it's still it's not perfect but the money's all right so we can flog that color co condition actually you know what can i wash this off a little bit so it's a little bit maybe a little bit better i mean the the overall condition is gonna suck a little bit because of just yeah the unfortunate accident of a truck landing on top of it but, I mean, for the money, it's not massively bad. I do like this combo, though. The red leather and the bat and the blue. Actually, really, that that does look smart. I like it. I really do. So, I think we just got to flog it, really, haven't we? 16,000. Yeah. All right, sell. Brilliant. Okay, we got 41,000 in the bank. Now, this, it's not really worth a lot. It's only worth eight grand now. All right. So... The problem I've got with this is it took a lot of damage when we rolled it a few times. That was the issue. So the problem with this is it's just going to take some time to repair. I'm going to have to strip all of this down. We're going to have to basically redo it. Back end isn't too bad. I don't think we broke anything out here. Like the brakes are still in good nick even though it's we fell over a few times. I say that it was ridiculous front end this is where all the problem is we need a new wheel need new hub parts of the engine are a bit knackered so this might be a live stream that we do this in but I definitely need to do the bodywork because the bodywork took a pounding especially on this side where we dragged it across the side of a hill so we it needs to be sorted and it's just gonna take some time so watch out for a live stream because at some point a live stream is gonna happen and we're going to repair the cab, get this all sorted, because it's broken. And I'm a little bit annoyed, if I'm going to be honest, because all that time and effort was spent building it and being like, you know, I can get a tow truck going, I can do this, that and the other. And the first job I get is literally just roll it and just kill it. So that's not great. Um, I might put that on the back burner for a little bit. I need to earn a bit more money. And I need to get a new car in here. Because the quicker I can get another car in here, the better. So what I might do is do some more pizza delivery stuff. Go and find a car. You know, because I'm going to get another one at some point. Chuck it in and then we'll get it towed here. Instead of using my own truck. Um, if you think that's a good idea, let me know in the comment section. Just because, is it really worth doing a tow truck up to go and do those missions as like a bit of a storyline? Or should I just go click and just get them teleported here and just go from there? I feel that this is the more better way of doing it. But it is a bit more riskier. Anyways, on that note, I want to say thank you very much for kicking by. This has been Hybrid Steel. If you have enjoyed it, hit the like, subscribe, and notification button below for all other updates. And I will be back here with a brand new video live stream or whatever else to do on this channel. Until then, I want to say peace out, have fun, enjoy everything you guys do. And have a great rest of your time, whatever you're doing. Until then... Bye-bye for now.